Hello, I'm Rue and welcome to my gaming channel, Rue Gaming, where we will review, talk about and play some games. Hello, right, so uh, I'm back, um, it's been a while since I've done the video, so I'll apologise for that, but I've got a few issues with my mic, um, kids great first mic, Yeah, it's part of my headset thing. It was apparently do quite anyway. I then bought another one and my daughter broke that one. Um bless her. Um uh, managed to bodge it to get it working but it just packed up completely in the end the USB port and collapsed in on itself inside the mic. Now I've got a new one. Now I um I've tried a few different ones and what I've settled on is the Neo eight hundred, which is a very cheap a uh, mic, about 30 quid, came with a uh, movable arm and a pop filter. Now I already had a pop filter for my other mic, so I've basically got two pop filters on the go, one facing me, and there's one basically facing towards my computer, because um, sometimes when the fan kicks in it can be a bit loud, so I'm trying to filter that out a little bit. But I've set a noise gate using the dynamic processes and Adobe Audition CC 2018 to try and help with that. Um, to try and get any of the lower level noises. Now it can also do things like learn sounds, like I got it to learn keyboard sounds to edit them out. Um, it then forgot the settings, so I'm going to have to redo that. And I thought I'm going to save the settings, but I don't think I saved the actual edit process or whatever because it just does not work anymore. But anyway. And that's by the way, it seems to work quite well. Now, on with the video. Um, this is a beta first initial impressions video. Um, I did an alpha one, which I know the sounds are not great and I feel waffling a little bit, but yeah, it's alright. It's alpha, sort of, that was uh, beta. Now, the alpha I did um, Zandala, which oh, I loved it. It's a great zone, it's a nice zone, it's a good zone. First impressions were good. On the beta, um, I'm doing the alliance going to call Tiras. Uh, yeah, so I sort of the settings still at the moment, as you can probably see. Um, going for a different process, process of setting up the settings and everything. Now, as with the alpha, I'm not going to be doing spoilers, so any scenarios will be uh, cut out. Any kind of um, Cinematics cut out. Uh, any parts of the story or quests or anything like that related will be cut out. Now, I've edited my interface slightly. I've moved the ah, uh, don't recall that sort of the target frame and the player frames. Now to do that, you left click and then you go to move frame and then you right click on unlock and to lock it again when you finish the same thing, left click, move frame, lock frame. So you can do it on target frames, on player frames and so on and so forth, put them where you want them and then lock them again. Which is what I've done with both the target frame and the player frame. Now I'm playing a warrior, a uh, iron dwarf, dark iron dwarf um, warrior. Uh, yeah, Let's see how it goes. Now there will be parts during the video where I'm going to be pausing what was just going on. Um, not saying much while I'm doing something so um, I'm trying to get myself into the point into the frame of mind for streaming because you can't expect to talk for an entire live stream um, every live stream I've seen you've not had someone talking all the way through it you have people stop because you get tired of talking you have things to say so on and so forth no. I've already jumped ahead 
of doing one part in um, one of the scenarios. I think and of doing cutscene. Apparently, I've got a problem with my nose. I'm so pretty much messed up. It's for you that me to make that sort of sniff noise. I'll apologise. <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming to a point where I'm actually going to skip a bit of the video. Uh, not just yet, but soon, because we'll be sat outside the front of um, the storm. It's the castle in a bit. And it's because there's a cutting coming up, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't see the scenario. Look the scenario. Like I said, there were because I do intend to play this live on the lines. Right. Okay, so we've skipped a load of bits now um, and we're in Corteras. So I've skipped all the Call of the Lord on and all the other cutscenes and quests associated with it. So I'm going to jump in straight ah, into the new area. Bobs. Right. My initial thoughts are this this particular zone called Tourette's actually reminds me a lot of um, The Hobbit in the Desolation Mold. Uh, the basically the town on the lake. Lord Admiral's the ferry man and everything. That's what this zone reminds me of. It does look very sort of similar to that sort of area. So yeah, it looks really cool. I do actually like the design. It kind of mis mixture of, like I said, Desolation of the Small Sea or uh, Town of Lake and it's got a uh, sort of, I don't know, almost like Norse kind of feel to it, kind of like um, an outland I suppose and Stormheim with some of the slight bits of the designs of some of the buildings like the curves on some of the buildings but otherwise it's more like um, yeah Desolation of Smoke basically I do like this zone from what I can see so far. We've got the castle, the hill, boats in the harbour, snowy peaks. Yeah, it's good. Looks aesthetically pleasing. It does look good. So I'm just going to drink. Now I'm obviously with the audio. I'm doing post production recording of the audio. Done after the playthrough, so I wasn't actually doing live recording at this point because the mic uh, packed up. I tried doing live recording um, as I was playing in the alpha, and I had a few technical problems. I had to heavily edit it, and it still didn't sound too good. And I was waffling on a bit, but again, that's a more technical fault rather than particularly the, the gameplay. Now, playable cool now. It's not really that having that much of a negative effect on my gameplay. I said the same thing during the alpha test pose, and I'll say the same thing now. It's not having that big of an effect. I mean, the characters here seem quite nicely fleshed out. They almost Thank feel you. or look like playable characters, which makes me think. Ah, the cool teams we can play on the characters some point. You'll see it better when they have got some of the large characters. I think the armor set I'm using for the um Dark Iron. Oh there we go, one of the guys with the characters there, it's easily fleshed out like a playable character. Yeah. 
Anyway, the, the, I think I'm using the um, Dark Iron sort of ally place armor set. Could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, I know I'm playing a warrior again because I did the same thing when I did 732, 735 videos, and uh, yeah, I do, I do kind of like playing the warrior. I, I think I'm going to have a warrior on my main. On I don't know if it would be alliance or horde. I'm going to stick with my priest mainly on alliance because, uh, well, let's face it, I've been playing her since vanilla. Uh, I've also had my hunter, but I gave up playing the hunter because there was a need to have a healer. Um, back in the old classic vanilla MC raiding days. I remember they tried to get me to roll a dwarf priest just because of fear ward, and I was like, nah. Because of old Anixia, so I don't think so. It's, it's human. I'm sticking with it. I'm looking forward to the classic realms actually. The, um, they will be fun. They will be fun. I'm going to obviously carry on playing the current game because you know, I'm going to try when classic comes out. We'll do like an Iron Man challenge, classic Iron Man um, challenge, current day. Now, the current day Iron Man challenge will be difficult because we've got the GCDs, which I know they're not making much difference at the moment, but when you've got limited abilities. It will have impact. Plus, you've got the stat squish. I'll try and cover that a bit more in a different video. But the stat squish, uh, eye levels are taking a big hit. As have the stats, but so is the health and strength of the mobs. It may be fine. Too far away. I mean, this is the second. Stat squish we've been through. Must be the third. And um, that's uh, I think going to Warlords was another one actually. And now going into Battle of Azeroth. Yes, yeah, so I think that's the third stat squish we've been through. Big concern what I've heard of other channels. Um, this one. What I think it's gonna do with the numbers being that low for eye level and the statistics at this point, that low, you know, I think the start of the game in Battle of Azeroth. Now, we can't test it, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to test it, uh, but it's max level characters only, uh, basically, on uh, beta at the moment. Um, the, the, the max level they've upped during the phases of testing, they've gone from like uh, 111 and kind of edged all the way up. When I was doing this, it was 119. I think it's 120 now. And there's been old videos online with the people saying, What's it like in the game? What's this like? I'm not going to touch it up. I don't want to go into that much detail at this point because I'm going to be playing the game live. Um, I haven't got enough time to do a thorough detail of ins and outs of the game. I'm just giving you my first initial impression. What is Battle of Azeroth like at the moment? It's fun. New mechanics like the, the necklace, the Heart of Azeroth, that'll be interesting. Uh, I saw that briefly in the Alpha. And Armour set looked interested. I'm going to do another video closer. closer to release on what I think it's like. Um, there's a lot of different classes and stuff. To test that already. I'm out of range. It would be nice if I could just roll oh, a max level character to test. Like, what's the damage? Time to do that. If you're after that sort of uh, stuff, then um, Final Boss TV, uh, May, um, that 
that's they, he always does good reviews on um, abilities, stats, capabilities of characters. Um, Too far away. That's always a good one to go and check out. If you want detailed information or semi detailed information on patch changes to the alpha and the beta, a live game, then uh, LLR, Tarius, and the Nivital. Um, yeah, another place to look for good sources of uh, videos and information, updates and stuff is Preach, so Preach, Bellinar, Talia's Never Tell, Final Postal TV. They're probably the ones to go for, but more detailed information on the classes, how they play, how the game plays, and so on and so forth. Now, um, that's kind of what the game play and the state of the game and everything else. Now, again, in terms of, if you want a theory, if you want good theory videos, Acolon, Pyromancer, always good ones, very good ones. But yeah, theory crafting the story where it's going. Yeah, and Belly Lad does that as well sometimes. So, like I said, I'm I'm not going into detail like them. Uh, this is just my opinion of the game as it is now in its limited fashion as uh, beta. I think the game. Uh, so far, definitely worth playing. Have uh, um, do I like the state of the warrior? Yes, because I can't get enough of it. I keep playing the warrior class during the test. So yes, it is worth playing. Um, other classes, hunter. Yeah, I've got my experience of the alpha. Hunter's worth playing. I am going to cover my 11 projects as a priest in the main to see what it's like. Um, bearing in mind, I leveled through Classic and Burning Crusade as Holy. Yeah, I know, mental, I know. I also did the same thing during Legion. I was doing exactly the same thing during Legion, leveling as Holy. The damage me. Holy puts out. Especially when you get your follower helping you out, it's actually pretty good. Not as fast as other classes, but it was good. It's a lot faster playing a mage or something, I imagine, but definitely faster playing the pally. But in terms of this game, with um, Battle for Lazaroff. Um, Obviously, I'm going to so I can't really comment on all different classes. I might do some more videos, but we'll see. That the time, the time bearing, but um, I'm committed. Um, but yeah, it's um, playing warrior, playing battle for off, fun. The quests, fun. There's been even one occasion we've been stuck on where I was supposed to be going, and that was when we go to the Thorn Keep at the beginning. Earlier, well, I actually stopped record recording because I was doing other things, but I did actually get the stat sheet open there as well. The character stat sheet, but I didn't, rec I didn't bother keeping that bit of footage because it was going on too long. In terms of feedback on the day of the premiere, uh, I just didn't tell you that again, but it would be nice if there was a way of editing specific selections of video and just deleting them from your footage you've recorded. Because there was a couple of bits where I would love to have just selected them and deleted them. You can't do it. It's annoying. Well, if you can do it, there's certainly not an easy way of doing it. So that's why I'm now having to edit the audio. The second time, this is my second time watching this video, <laughs> recording audio to it because I couldn't edit the video how I wanted to. So I had to drop whole bits and try and match up the audio better than how I was originally. Uh, anyway. So, like I said, this is supposed to be a first impressions video. 
What do I think of Battle of Lazarus so far? Think about the Alpha? Zandalar is a gorgeous zone. Beautiful zone. Hey, the Hunter is great. I think I am going to resurrect my Hunter and play my Hunter, but I may have to do a faction change. I think he's level 60 at the moment. I'm going to have to do a faction change. Or troll hunt or something. Oh, oh. If I unlock the. Um, Suramab for a horde. Maybe I can do a faction change to Suramab Grace. Uh, I don't know if you even can. I'm just thinking that might be a good option. Or I could just ditch it and start over. I don't know. But never mind. So Zandala is great. I do like it. It's a beautiful zone. The quests are fun. Nice area. Cool Tiras. Um, it's got a very strong Gilnean feel to it. And then again, it's a human race, so I mean, there was a lot of overlap and how they were. And I know in the story, the Gilneans and the Kiltarians were actually quite um, friendly, close. So it's hardly surprising there's a bit of overlap there with their. Um, I mean, they're both English speaking, it's like they don't sound like Brits, sort of British English. Both of them do. Uh, if you get past that anyway, um, the zone is very nice. It does feel Lord of the Rings this, which I mentioned earlier with the town, city and town on the lake. Uh, in this case, city on the lake. Um, it's a nice island area. It does kind of also give off a vibe of the Goblin Starter area. Just not as fun. The Goblin Starter area is fun. It's great. I've got a few Goblins. And I've, I've got them sort of... They're all low level. I've got a certain point. I'm like, right, okay, I'm going to stop that. Uh, I've played, played it with my missus. And she's got a Goblin, low level Goblin. Um, trying to get her back into it. But, yeah, she ain't got the time at the moment because everything else is going on. She needs time to herself, which is fair enough. Um, kids, sort of. Uh, they are a lot to handle sometimes. Good kids generally, but two of them are sort of Blood under the gold. Everything well, has a cost. suspected autism radar at the moment. So. It's a little good. Our uh, Jack, bless him. Jack's played a lot of Warcraft before, but it's uh, we mentioned one of the videos. It's kind of consisted of uh, him trying to find out how many different ways he could jump, it, jump or throw himself off the top of Teldrassil. Hmm. <laughs> Kara's not interested in this game. She's interested in Mario. And Candy Crush and Sonic. So I'm probably gonna get her to probably. She'll, she'll want to watch them while I do them. But, yeah. Anyway, go off topic a bit, sorry. I'll just. Um, characters are good. The character designs are good. They do feel like they could possibly be our races at some point. They're fleshed out quite well. Like a player character. Right, uh, okay. There's a group. I don't know why. Because they're going to have to do this again when it goes live. So. I would first be trying this out solo. And then, if you want to, when the live comes around, group up, get through quick, it depends if you're a or made or not. Yeah, casual, take the time. Hardcore, it's the race, isn't it? The big race. It's like, who's going to get to max level? Who's going to get to the world number one, the server number one, that sort of stuff. I 
tried, this was a long time ago, I tried to get um, a world first on uh, leveling. When was it? Oh, not world first, sorry, server first. What am I on about? I think it was during Wrath. I didn't, I didn't do it, obviously. <laughs> I tried. But... Uh, nah. Kill. going on. Let's actually stop playing completely. I think I got to... Seventy six. I mean, I was doing quite well. I was doing quite well on time and everything, and it just fell over. It just, yeah, gave up. It's so personal. Man. Anyway, um, I'm not trying anything like that. Now, I ain't got time for it. Besides, that's not where a job's a the job, main man. interest from the player base is. It's our number for one raid clears mythic. That's what it is. Watch your back out. Again, that's not something I'm doing either. But <laughs> it's always down to the same couple of guilds. You just watch them try and compete for who's going in. Um, method are usually like going for it hardcore method. To be honest. Anyway, right, coming to the end of the video, I've, I've actually waffled a little bit as well, gone off track. Um, I've covered as much as possible. I've also got some catch up to the video, so we can. Anyway, um, later. Your turn. Your turn is not so. I do like the zone, it just feels really gritty. Um, a lot going on, it's good. Another thing this reminds me of Lord Diablo 3, the thief. It's got that sort of vibe. This whole area's got the same vibe as having him as a companion talking to him as well. Uh, uh, bottom line, it's Good zone, so is uh, Zandalar. Zandalar is brilliant, this is good. Charmed. I'm sure. um, playing Warrior uh -huh. with GCD and everything seems good. This is not really bother me. Playing with Hunters not really bother me at all. In fact, it didn't bother me whatsoever. None of the changes. The stat squish is... Not sure that's stat squish. Not sure that's... But no, I don't think GCD was definitely there. Nothing. No problem. No worries. Played fine. Played beautifully. Warrior plays great, plays fine, plays beautifully. Um, game is enjoyable so far. The necklace thing uh, out of Azov, I think, is going to be good. It's going to go on an AP grind, though. Uh, do, I, do I like the game? Yes, I'm going to recommend the game for others to play. Yes, it's good. It's good. So, yeah, initial impressions, it's, as it's already said, it's good. So, thumbs up for Battle for Others, that's rough. Yeah. Complete. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like um, or click subscribe if you want to see future content. Uh, oh, and don't forget to click the bell if you want to get notifications when I do upload new videos. Okay. So for now, thanks again. Until next time, see ya and good gaming.